Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding accepted candidates from the interviews and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called candidates with four different columns, candidate ID, name, years of experience and interview ID and these being their data types. Candidate ID is the primary key column for this table. Each row of this table indicates the name of the candidate, their number of years of experience and their interview ID. We are also given a second round, a second table called rounds with three different columns, interview ID, round ID and the score and the data type being integer for all these three columns. The combined columns interview ID and round ID is the primary key column for this table. Each row of this table indicates the score of one round of an interview. Okay. We are asked to write the SQL query to report the IDs of the candidates who have at least two years of experience and the sum of the score of their interview round is strictly greater than 15. The order of the result doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go through this example. So we have the candidate table, we have the rounds table, right? So it says for only those candidates where year of experience is at least two. So obviously Atticus and Alfredo, like they are out, out of, out of the picture. So Ruben and Eliza, right? So for them, for one and 104, right? So for Ruben, 104 interview ID. So 104 is, so round three, six, round four, seven. So total 13 up till now, then 15, then seven, 22, right? So basically 104 should be in the output. About Eliza, uh, 109. So 109 is four, one, five, for nine, one, 10, right? So not greater than 15. So it shouldn't be in the output. So the only thing would be in the output candidate ID nine, right? So candidate ID nine is Ruben, right? So what we can do is we can left join these two tables, right? And then only keep those rows where the years of experience is greater than equal to two. Then we can group by different candidates and uh, you know, filter by a aggregate value that is uh, sum of the score is greater than 15, right? So let's go through this. Okay, so from this table called rounds aliased as R, let's left join the candidates table aliased as C on R dot candidate r dot interview id is equal to c dot interview id so basically what it will do in the rounds table it will add these four columns right based on interview id so for 109 it will uh, go and find okay 109 is here so it will add candidate id 6 eliza years of experience 10 similarly for 101 it will add 11 articles 1 Right now, once we have that from the rounds table, we have three, four different columns, right? Now what we do, since we are only concerned about uh, candidates with at least two years of work experience. So we keep where the years of experience is in which call, which table candidates table, right? So where C dot years of experience is greater than equal to two so it will keep only those rows so it take, takes care of you know uh, id of the candidates who have at least two years of experience so now we group by so group by the candidate id candidate id is again in the candidates table so c dot candidate id right so once we group by then what we need to do is we only need to keep those rows or those candidates whose sum of all the interview rounds is basically greater than 15, right? So it says greater than 50 of all the rounds. So we return the candidate ID, so C dot candidate ID, but only for those people. So having since we are filtering based on a aggregate value right so the sum of 
score right the score is in rounds table so r dot score is greater than 15. so once again after we perform join it added different columns here it uh, you know candidate id their years of experience their name right now we only keep with this uh, line we only keep those candidates whose years of experience is at least two then we grouped by each of the candidate and calculate and then once we grouped by then for some of uh, the score greater than 15 we are only keeping those rows right and for them we are returning the candidate ids okay so this looks good let's go ahead and run this to see what happens so yeah, this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again this is a question uh, like not very difficult and here we got to use both the where clause as well as having clause and we understand like what is the difference between filtering based on where and having clause and yeah this is how we do it let me know if uh, we can do it other way around so like uh, what would the solution look like if i join candidates table on rounds uh, rounds table right so if from candidates left join rounds and then what will the uh, process look like right will it be exactly similar or there will be a difference or if you know any other way of doing it a better way efficient way of doing it let me know in the comment section and until then i will see you guys in the next video